This euphorbia is known as Euphorbia cylindrifolia var cylindrifolia. So it's a variation of Euphorbia cylindrifolia. And cylindrifolia just means that it's circular, rounded, um, cylindrical foliage, which, you know, this one seems pretty flat, but some of the newer foliage, as you can see here, kind of starts out a little bit more taco or, or boat shaped. Now this is one that has definitely changed as I've uh, have I gotten it because I have a, several euphorbia that I'm not giving as high light to and they started off with a little bit more redder leaves and they started to green up as they've aged. So I've had this for about three years and it's definitely kind of spread out a little bit more and as I mentioned, become greener with age. And this is one of several euphorbia species that I have and they all are so very different and I'm just always enamored by this group. Even though it's not one of my favorite groups, it's one that I quite like a lot just because um, a lot of the plants actually look like they're a little bit more bonsai-esque and this has the potential for being kind of like one of those more spreading bonsai plants. Now this is native to Madagascar and probably the best way to propagate this is through seeds. And I would imagine that you'd also get a lot of different types of variations, like just at, at, as I mentioned, you know, this one has a variation called cylindrifolia. So it's the same name as their, the species name. Now this one, um, I could actually probably be growing it in a more highlight area, but instead I actually have this growing right under my southwest facing window. So it's getting probably a little bit more moderate light, although it does get some of that kind of sunlight that actually comes in during the afternoon hours. And it is a little bit more of a hot sun, but it's probably only getting two to three hours of that hot sunlight. Now, if I was giving it a little bit more greater sun, then it probably would start to redden up the leaves a little bit. As far as humidity, this is not something that the plant actually needs a lot of. And as far as watering goes, it also is the same. It's a pretty succulent plant, so it's not going to be, need to be watered all that often. Typically in the summer, if I'm giving it that higher light, then I'm going to be watering it like once a week. And in the winter months, I slowly pull back the watering. But again, that should just be a general guideline as with all these 365 days of plants, it should be a little bit more of a general guideline. So you are just introduced to a plant and you have a better sense of maybe how to take care of it. As far as pests go, I haven't had any pest pressures. Um, typically that I've, on some euphorbias, I will see a little bit of mealybug, but I haven't had any problems with this plant whatsoever. And as far as fertilizing goes, you could probably get away with a little bit more of a cacti or succulent fertilizer. I would start even off on a monthly basis. You could maybe up that a little bit during the growing season, but otherwise I think this is a relatively easy plant to grow.